everybody, it's Jess, and welcome to Brand Sins, the show where we sin everything. Nike was originally called Blue Ribbon Sports. I wonder what that would have looked like. Oh wait, no imagination necessary thanks to PBR. Nike has nearly as many sweatshop controversies as they do versions of the Air Jordan. It's over 9,000! Just kidding, but there are a lot of them. Nike should just change their slogan to sweat till you drop. Oh, never mind, that's already been trademarked by their Chinese factory management. You don't win silver. You lose gold. Tell that to Yukon Cornelius, you inspirational piece of shit. Nike's been teaching kids that as long as you spend enough money on the right kicks, you'll be able to jump high, run fast, and be a real athlete. Yeah, they were wrong. Nike's website asks, what are you looking for? Something affordable? Something made in America? Something durable? Ah, f*** it, never mind. You can't sit with us! They tried making tennis look cool in the 80s. In tennis, conservative attire is a must. Didn't work. The new LeBron 12 apparently gives you the ability of multiple LeBrons. Does that include multiplying his extreme level of douchiness? This is one of the biggest sporting spectacles in the history of sports. We're part of it. And it has a lot to do with me. Here he is, the biggest douche of the universe. Nike ID lets you customize your shoe by picking colors, words, and materials. What, did they fire the design staff? It's like they said, you know what, let's just have the customers do the work and charge them even more. This guy ordered his custom shoes to say the truth. The truth is, it's backwards. Also, the letters inside the Nike ID custom shoes are apparently secured on by a four-year-old and a glue stick. The man who created Nike's slogan credits his inspiration to murderer Gary Gilmore's famous last words before his death by firing squad, which were, let's do this. With Phil Knight's undying support for the University of Oregon football team, they have never worn the same jersey twice since 2004. That being said, why the f isn't there a Mighty Ducks version of the jersey? And why haven't we seen them do a flying V punt return formation? The Just Do It slogan left the world open to this tasteless piece of merchandise. Oh, that's nasty. Nike sponsors athletes that just do it, like how Oscar Pistorius just killed his girlfriend, or how Lance Armstrong just did a lot of steroids, or how Michael Jordan said just do it when asked if he wanted to let it ride at the craps table. Thank goodness there were no hidden cameras in that hotel room. Is that like a one-two punch? Every off-season. You start all over. Unless you're on a massive amount of steroids. Since 2004, the company has severed ties with or suspended seven of its signature athletes. I don't know, maybe Nike should sponsor smarter athletes. Or change their slogan to, just think twice before you do it. Despite Nike's headquarters being located in Beaverton, Oregon, 10 out of 12 of their executives are dudes. How many beavers do you see? Nike's employee childcare facility was named after Joe Paterno, which only could have been worse if it was called Helping Hands Childcare with the slogan, we like to think that the children touch us. Nike is largely responsible for sneakerhead culture. Can't crease my sneakers, yo. Shame on you, Nike. Shame on you. Nike made a shirt that said gold digging and they only made it in women's sizes. <laughs> this sin doesn't need a joke. That is just funny. They also made shirts for their board sports line that said get high and dope. They're trying to ditch their preppy stereotype by stereotyping another group of people and suggesting that they do drugs. After naming a line of shoes black and tan, Nike had to issue a public apology. They didn't realize its connection to the violent parliamentary group that suppressed the Irish during the War of Independence in the early 1920s. Nike, it's called Google and it's free. Use it. According to Nike, Tiger and this ad, winning takes care of everything. Apparently that includes adultery. The woman that designed the iconic swoosh was originally paid $2 an hour for her work. Bill Knight's response was, well, I don't love it, but maybe it'll grow on me. Not surprisingly, she made more money creating the logo than Nike's factory workers make in their entire lives. And finally, this product really blew up in their face. <laughs> That's everything that we found wrong with Nike, but I'm sure there's more. So go ahead and leave your sins in the comments below. Bonus! But one thing that I wanted to do today was, you know, apologize to my wife. Screw you! You're fired! I want to say to each of you, 
simply and directly. I am deeply sorry. You're fired! Did you ever take banned substances to enhance your cycling performance? Yes. You're fired! Hey, I just see you signed this new deal with Adidas. What does that mean to you? Man, it just feels good to be able to create more, but I really feel honored to, you know, uh, have had the chance to blow Yeezy up with Nike. You know, I apologize for my frustration earlier. Read my lips! You are fired! I recognize that by saying that I'm deeply sorry, it might not be enough. Yeah!